Hey guys, it's Martin, your hemorrhoid expert. Today I'm going to talk to you very briefly about internal hemorrhoids versus external hemorrhoids. If you're not sure what type of hemorrhoid you have, hopefully I can shed some light on that. If you take a look at this diagram right here, you are going to see the rectum area, and then you're going to see these two hemorrhoids right here. Here is the internal hemorrhoid, which is on the inside of the rectum, and then you have your external hemorrhoid, which is on the outside. Okay, so if your hemorrhoid's on the outside of your anus, that's going to be an external hemorrhoid, and if it's on the inside, it's on, it will be an internal hemorrhoid. Now, what are the most common symptoms with internal hemorrhoids? A lot of times, if you have an internal hemorrhoid, you won't even realize that you have one until you have a little bit of blood in your bowel movement or your stool when you wipe with, a, with toilet paper. Now, I will say that when you do have blood down there, that can be a sign of some other serious issues. So if you do have blood, I would recommend you get seen or checked out by a doctor because that's very important. Now, what are some other signs of internal hemorrhoids? Well, sometimes internal hemorrhoids can actually pop out of your anus when you use the bathroom. And those are actually called prolapsed internal hemorrhoids. And prolapsed internal hemorrhoids have four different grades and essentially the worst grade is when this hemorrhoid pops out of your anus and you can't manually get it back in. Those will require surgery. You are definitely going to want to see a doctor if you have prolapsed hemorrhoids. They can, can be pretty difficult to deal with. They can be very painful. They're, they're, they can be itching. There's a lot of different factors that go in there so you're absolutely going to want to see a doctor. Now external hemorrhoids these usually are itchy, burny, they will give you some irritation, sometimes they'll be bleeding there, and these are the ones that people typically treat with creams, wipes, you know, ointments, things of that nature. Now, occasionally what will happen is an external hemorrhoid will form a clot, and that's called a thrombosed external hemorrhoid, and a lot of times thrombosed external hemorrhoids will require medical treatment as well. There's something called a rubber band ligation, which is fairly minimally invasive. So that's something you would want to talk to your doctor about if you have external thrombosed hemorrhoids. So guys, that's essentially it. That's an internal hemorrhoid, and this is an external hemorrhoid. So hopefully that sheds some light on the topic for you. Now, if you are suffering from hemorrhoids, this is an awesome product. It's called Hemorrhoid Plus. You can get it on Amazon. Absolutely check it out, Hemorrhoid Plus Hemorrhoid Supplement. You can find it on Amazon. If you have any questions about internal or external hemorrhoids, please comment below. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Martin, your hemorrhoid expert. Happy to bring you this info.